Hello from South Korea. I'm currently at Incheon Airport. Our original plan was to go straight to Vietnam. Unfortunately, our visa is still processing on the website. It said it's going to take up to three days. It's been about a week and we still have not received our visas. Um, anyways, we just changed our flight to Monday, so we're kind of stuck in Korea for about two nights, which wasn't the original plan, but honestly, I'd rather be stuck in Korea than anywhere else. We've actually never checked out Incheon, and I heard there is a lot to do here. So we're gonna pivot and change our plans. We're gonna check out Songdo, which is a very popular area in Incheon. Hang out there for about two nights, and then we're gonna come back on Monday and try to go to Hanoi, Vietnam. We just checked into our hotel and this is the view from outside. If you go toward those buildings, there is a huge view of the ocean. This whole area is filled with cafes and restaurants. restaurant we chose but there's a long line a cafe called Forest Outings. It's a really big cafe. I think it's about three to four stories. I could really use some coffee right now so let's go check it out.
have this cherry red velvet cake. This is called a pang doru. Um, I'm not really sure if there's any filling inside. Guess we'll see. There are three floors and so many seats available. The decoration and aesthetics is just incredible. sleeping so I'm trying to be a little quiet. Anyways, today was a really interesting day. I actually didn't know how big the city was. The restaurant and cafe scenes are really similar to Seoul. You also get a whole view of the ocean. There's a lot of great seafood restaurants. If you guys wanted to try somewhere a little different than going to Seoul, um, I think Incheon is a great place, especially Songdo. Alright, so I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine. Always wash your hands really well. Alright, so let me show you guys what I'm using right now. And I'm actually really enjoying these. They are these products from Cell Cosmet, which is a Switzerland luxury skincare brand. And they're basically a pioneer when it comes to anti-aging and rejuvenating skincare. I love testing out anti-aging skincare products and to see what actually works. So I tested this one out and I put it on right before my 15 hour flight. And normally after such a long flight like that, my skin gets really dry and dull. But this time I felt like my skin was still really hydrated. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove my makeup with this gentle cream cleanser. And it looks like this. It's very creamy and soft. So I'm gonna go in like that. Just rub it in. So this is a two-in-one formula that gently cleanses your skin and also hydrates your skin's lipid layers. I like that I didn't feel any dryness after I cleansed my skin. It really just feels like you're putting lotion on your face. Add some water and then emulsify. So now I'm gonna rinse my face. All right, so next I'm gonna go with the active tonic. I'm gonna use these cotton pads just I actually really like the smell it um, smells like herbs but with cinnamon it also has a gentle micro exfoliating effect so it's gonna leave your skin ready and prepped for the next skincare product the final step is this preventative cream and it's gonna hydrate brighten and prevent signs of premature aging. A little goes a long way, so I'm just gonna maybe take half of that. And when you put it on your skin, it just feels like silk. Very easy to apply. So this will keep your skin hydrated and plump, and it also protects your skin from environmental stressors. All right, so that is pretty much it. My skin feels really clean and hydrated. Um, if you guys are also interested in these products, I'm gonna leave the link down below. And thank you, Cell Cosmet, for sponsoring today's video. Good morning. Right now it is 6 a.m. I came out to go for a run and just wanted to share the scenery with you because it's so pretty. I just ran into this little area which is called the Songdo Hanok Village. And Hanok is an old traditional Korean house. There's not that many people out right now, but I love how peaceful it is. rent these boats and just ride around. So this is where you come to buy your ticket if you want to ride one of these little boats.
This ice americano was just a dollar. It's so cheap and it's actually, the size is actually really big. And it plays. Reloading has been completed. So we just got off the train station. If you get out of exit one, then the Chinatown is right across the street. This place is very popular. It's a four-story Chinese restaurant. So this is a must-try snack. It kind of looks like a pita bread, but it's a cracker and there's no filling inside. It's just kind of like a puffed cracker. <laughs> This place is apparently a must. They're known for their dumplings. We've got one meat and one red bean. It looks like a little naan. <laughs> oh, it's so hot, but it's really, really good. So this one is the meat dumpling. There is a lot of meat in here. It's so hot. <laughs> mm. Fairytale Village. Everything is fairy tale themed. There's a lot of murals and cute decorations. Okay, so we just checked out Chinatown and it's a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, right now we're heading over to Japantown, which is only a few blocks from Chinatown. Thank you. 